Welcome back, boys and girls. My name is Adam Malusi, and this is Moving Away Fishing. This is day three of our Bahamas videos. Um, we are in Grand K in the Bahamas. If you have not checked out the last two videos, they're in the link description below. Please go check them out. If you already have, well, you know what to expect, some epic diving footage. This is Ryan making a drop right now on some Swiss cheese. Little chunky coral heads, little ones. And uh, I don't remember what we shot this day. We're about to find out. He just put a shot in a really nice Nassau grouper right there. And it was a good holding shot, but this fish was a pain to get out. Couple minutes later, um, see a little strawberry grouper saying what's up. A couple minutes later, went back down. You can see this fish is bleeding. Um, perfect extraction on this fish, nice and easy. And this is not the grouper I'm thinking of because there was one extraction that took us a long, long time. Watching this video is just make me reminisce. Um, it was just absolutely flat calm this day, and uh, you couldn't ask for better conditions. Crystal clear, flat calm, you could see that little Nassau grouper. Actually, it was a big fish. I think this is the one. Yep. Just gonna let this clip play out. Somehow came off right there. Like the slip tip didn't engage. And um, he just made an absolute cloud, dusty ball down there. So you gotta let that clear out before you make a returning drop. Yo, did you see me drill him? Yeah, I know. You gotta get me. Another shot on that fish, you can hear him drumming. And now where the fun begins. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him in the dust. You want me to get out? Get him off I'm working on that fish down there. Just took a couple drops back and forth between me and Ryan. Just playing my options, seeing which way he's lodged in there, and obviously it wasn't it wasn't a pull and tug. Flared his guild. So you hear me say, so sometimes with those Nassau groupers, when you shoot them, it's an easier grouper to get out on one dive over a black grouper, but if you don't, and they get into a hole like this, they will flare their gill plates almost like a barb, and it is hard to get that fish out. It's just a lot of wiggling and maneuvering.
another drop here. I think this is my camera. Um, and we're just in there, man, trying to get that fish out. It took us at least 30 minutes to do. And it's a lot of up and down. Nope, that was right. Here's my camera. You can tell the lighting is way different. I apologize about that. Uh, this is a little bit older of a GoPro. As I get down to bottom, it might get a little bit better, but anyways. I'm just over it at this point, trying to tug this thing out. So I make a drop on the backside, and you can see this fish is actually... We pushed him out and pushed him the other way, so I grab onto him here, but the slip tip is on... or wedged around a corner, and the pole spear is on the other side, so I said, let's just cut the dyneema off, Pull him through and go. Ryan goes down. We're helping each other out. Cut, yeah, he did end up cutting the dynamo off. And... Hold him up. This is Annika on a little hogfish. Um, I believe this is her first hogfish ever. I don't recall, but she was stuck. I was telling her that it's not the biggest one to, to try and let those ones swim, but she's got first spearfishing jitters. Here's me shooting a nice hogfish, I believe. Could be wrong. Oh, you know what? This was a smaller fish. Not small, great eating fish, but he wasn't big. But I do have a crazy clip for you guys in this video where we get attacked by some sharks. So now we're diving some shallower heads. Again, this isn't a giant one, but it is a good hog. Not sure at all what Ryan was doing there. Nurse shark comes into the scene here. But little redemption. Ryan shoots a nice size hogfish here. A nice little male hog at that. Nice one. Hold him up for the GoPro. Did you feel it? I got a little sick shot behind here. Hold him up. Hey, everybody. Brian, in fact, did not film it. Here's a little NASA grouper that I am making a drop on. <laughs> Sure enough, he flares his gills right there and 
I was just gonna go back down and grab him again, but Matt did it for me. Good, my bite. Bobo wanted to come on the boat one day and hang out with the boys. So it was nice for all of us to be able to get in the water at once and do some diving together. Ryan shot a nice yellow fin over here. You okay? So I hit your head. I saw that. You rolled him good. Hold him up, Ryan. Did you get the clip? Head, yeah. Nice yellow thing. That black was nice. Nice little Sierra Macro coming through here. He got the lights out stone shot. Spine shot, sorry. I don't know why I said so. I ain't down there trying to shoot a parrotfish. Shoot him and he comes off. Those things got thicker scales than Cabarrus. And I actually go down and shoot one because Dennis said, shoot me a parrotfish bite. And I said, all right, what you saying? So I shot him a nice parrotfish. I think mine came off here too, but it was actually delicious. Like better than a hogfish could. Never mind, mine stayed on. <laughs> you eat these? How about those giant ones that are like blue and black? You ever shoot those? He's got a we got a boot over here somewhere. Hold it up, Matt. Hold it up. Nice. Nice tiger grouper. Or otherwise known as a cigatera grouper. Yeah, we do. Nice. Nice Nassau grouper. sharks off in the distance there so making a drop here um a bunch of mangrove snappers none of them are big but it's just cool to see how these fish will come in on you 
laid on bottom, a little bit, like, a little bit of grunting, a little bit of scratching, and they just love it. Just, it's pretty to see, even when you don't gotta kill a fish. <laughs> fish down there. It's the one that turn into giants. See how he's trying to blend in with all the reef. Fine with a nice Nassau. B, hold up the hog. Do you? <laughs> Little tiger grouper that I just totally whiffed on. But it happens. And I just want you guys to know, uh, to be clear, these are all the highlights of our videos, of course. There's a lot of dives that we don't shoot or see fish. And Hi. Thank you. Hold him up. The boy shot a little one. Oh, yeah, nice mass though. Everything good? Wow, that'll work. That'll work. Boys shot a couple nice nassos there. I think we all each got one. And uh, shot a little hogfish. And yeah, definitely not definitely not anything crazy, but got some fish for dinner. Oops, I got some freaking, I got some crud on me. I'm sorry, excuse me. So this is Annika going down. First ever grouper. We're in about 30 feet of water, so I was super, super impressed with her and proud of her. So she took her time and she actually breathed up for about 10 minutes. Nice and patient and went down and shot her first ever grouper, and it happened to be a nice sized Nassau grouper. She got him in the head. I went down just to back her up. And he was stoked. Nice job, baby. Yo, yeah, Ryan, come over here, Rod Shark. Yeah, that'll work. Annika's brain in her first Nassau grouper. Shot it in 30 foot. Nice job, baby. Nice job, Annie. Annie Bird, it's the bird. First grouper, that's our group early. That's right. Everything good? Yeah, I'm so Annika had a 10 minute breathe up there for that Nassau, <laughs> but it'll do. It'll do. Fish is in the boat. The bird is about to eat a little piece of the heart and or liver, whatever type of sustenance came off this Nassau. Cause she's organic like that. I feel like I'm kind of being forced to, honestly. But no, babe, it's it's a good thing. It's your first grouper. Because he always puts the camera so close to my face. Come on. The parasite. Oh, baby, eat it. Nice and swallow it. Mm. See the tongue. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well. You're dead. 
Nah, that stuff's good for you, like the liver king. We got a huge, huge, huge storm way up in front of us. Look at the tornado coming down right there. And we are kind of just putzing right now. Cause trying to, look at this head. Holy smokes. You know, we can all be in the water and then that storm rolls through and it could be go to three, four foot real quick, blowing 30, 40 miles an hour. That's how divers get lost. So we're gonna play it careful. Okay, so this is it's where it gets sharky. Hold him up, baby. Sorry to get a little choppy. And I shot a nice little hogfish for herself. And we hopped in on the spot. Yeah. So nice sized hogs. I actually shoot a really, really good hogfish right here. Still a good fish, but not the one I'm thinking about. I'll tell you. Daddy. This is the one right here. Big hog. Rips the pole spear out of my hands. I took the only shot I had. Instantly a nurse shark comes in. Yo, Ryan. And all hell broke loose. What? That Kibera? Dude! That 80 pound, I could have shot him. What? 80 pounder behind us, sitting there trying to freaking see what's going on. Oh, with the hog? Yeah. This was literally the boys today getting sharked left and right. That's my hogfish. What are we doing? What's your name? What's your name? Kayla Ari. Ari, what's your name, buddy? Oh. You dancing? Okay. Show up. Go Whoa. off, bro. Go off, bro. You guys are good. We got the crew dancing here right now. What's going on? All right, the crew is walking the island. We got ourselves a nice sand here. Come on. Watch out for that rock, Danny. Ryan, give give the boys a scoop. What do we got going on? Walking Ron's hot spot right now. Hitting that place up later. That place is fire. What is that place called? Called freaking backwoods. Backwoods door. Backwards forty. Door. Backwards forty. What's up? Yep. How we doing? Awesome. What are we saying? Not a ting. Not a ting. Not a <laughs> Ryan, what? What's the scoop? What we got? Scoop. We're walking around, man. We're about to grub. Nassau style grouper. Everything is gonna be good. Everything is gonna be good. Uh huh. Maddie B. Beverly. Yeah. Birthday boy. Birthday boy Matt. Drop a comment below. It's Matt's birthday. Old man's turning 25. Caught himself a nice yellow fin today. And uh, hopefully we have a good day diving tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to continue this video or what's going to happen. I don't know, but we are going to Ronathan's Hotspot to eat some food and I'll see you there. All right, we got some Nassau. We got some blackened. Oh, y'all really have to your food? That's great. You want it? <laughs> <laughs> you want some? <laughs> what do we got, Ryan? What do we got? We got the Nassau style. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that. You got that? Annie, what do you think? I'm not saying much over there. You like the Nassau? This one is really good. 
Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's Nassau pretty good. Style. I told you. Matt? Oh yeah. Every time, baby. Every time, everything good. That's what we got. That's what we got. Mm -hmm. We got some peas and rice coming. We're gonna grub down here shortly. This is a man right here. This is Ron from Ron's Hot Spot. Ron himself. That's right, Ron's Hot Spot, baby. Best on the island. That's what's up. But, uh, got some. What's good? Everything good? Everything good? What is going on, boys and girls? It is the end of the YouTube video. If you guys, I'm gonna pop a little squat here. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please go ahead, drop a like on the video. If you haven't already, if you have, you can send it to a friend and they can drop a like too. And I wanna go ahead and say something. Sometimes I don't respond to everybody in the comments. You gotta understand how busy I am every day. And it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate you. I appreciate every single one of you guys that watch my YouTube videos. If you watch, if you comment, if you followed with me for the past four years on this social media journey, trust me, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So thank you so much. So this video actually exactly, I'm gonna make it a goal to reply to every single one of your comments. So if there's something you wanna say to me and you want me to respond to, I'm gonna, it's not that I don't read every comment, I read every comment, but I'm gonna thoroughly go through every comment and personally respond to every single one on this video in particular. So go blow it up in the comment section. And let's chat, boys and girls. Subscribe if you're not ready. Send it to a friend. Um, super stoked on Annika spearing her first grouper and hogfish. So congratulations to Annika. She loves diving, and so she's going to get good at it. I can just feel it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. But we got one more Bahama videos before we close out this series. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Bandit, what do you got to say, bubbies? You think they like it? You guys know Dangus, but... I'll see you around. Moving weights out.